Hey guys, Ryan Earnhardt here from creativesoundlab.tv. Well, today we're going to be exploring five different types of compression. We have FET, diode bridge, uh, Varimu, VCA, and optical. Now, I happen to have some outboard here to hopefully hear um, kind of some good examples today. Um, of course, we have a lot of plugins that we could explore too. But I figure, you know, I'm lucky enough that uh, I was able to kind of get all the different types. I thought it'd be fun to run some vocal through five different types of compression. Okay, so, uh, you know, first up, uh, the FET. Uh, the FET is really known as a very fast compressor. So really good for kind of in-your-face kind of things. Um, the 1176 went on several revisions, and that's what the distressor is based off of with additional harmonics added and modifications to the circuit and whatever. So FETs are definitely a big player um, in the way that we uh, use processing. Uh, we use them all the time. Extremely common, and they're just great for getting stuff right in your face. So today we have the AudioScape 76A. This is a uh, revision A um, product that's kind of it's based on um, the the revision A. Um, so yeah, it's kind of a an enigma, a multifaceted beast, but I think I have a cool sound dialed in today. Moving on to the diode bridge. Diode bridge is kind of a unique type of compression. The most notable is the 33609, uh, the 2254 by Neve, and you know it's not as common as a lot of the other types. I also was really pleased with the AudioScape um, Decomp. They have a stereo bus compressor that actually sounds very nice. See my NAM video for examples of that. But it's really not a compressor that we see a whole lot of, and this is a very kind of multi-purpose compressor. It is definitely cleaner than like the FET or the tube, but definitely more flavor than something like the VCA. So it's kind of in the middle of the field as far as um, kind of distortion, saturation qualities, but it does actually have a really nice kind of full and thick meaty flavor. So today it's the Heritage Audio Successor, and it's basically very loosely based on a 33609, given the, uh, you know, the ratio options here, you can kind of see a lot of the resemblance, but it has way more flexibility because of the sidechain filters. Okay, moving on to the very mu or the tube uh, compression. Uh, most, not most notably is the, the Manly uh, compressors. They um, kind of create, uh, their very mu line and you also have other companies that you know create tube compression and we're actually um, experiencing the nature of vacuum tubes and we're actually using uh, electrons flowing through vacuum tubes to create our compression i have no idea how it works <laughs> but it is a very gentle um very fat sounding compressor really good for vocals for bass um, it's not as flexible as some of the others, but I think you'll be pleased with what we hear. And this is actually a 3.5 to 1 ratio, so it's just right, it's right under 4 point, or it's right, on, right under 4 to 1. Um, but yeah, so this is the Weight Tank WT Comp. Moving on, the VCA. VCA is a um, voltage control amplifier, and it basically is a feed forward design. Some of these plugins, they have FF or FB, and it's never really explained that well, but what you're actually able to tap in with FF is uh, the DBX style compression, where you have a signal that splits off into two, uh, one of them is the detector circuit, and one of them is the actual um, VCA. And the detector tells the VCA what to do. Uh, this is why they're super easy to just, you know, hook in a side chain to a VCA, because it's listening to something on, you know, the auxiliary to tell it what to do and how to compress. 
whereas the feedback compressor um, that's actually kind of like one channel so it's going through and then back again and uh, it's it's a very kind of different design uh, and amazingly and weirdly enough it's really really fast so um, you often will see sidechain uh, options for the VCA um, Man, I don't know if maybe Purple Audio makes a 1176 with a sidechain, but I, I really don't see it that much. I just think it's the way it's designed. Um, so yeah, today we have the DBX-160X, kind of the classic. We also have the DBX-903, and maybe for a bonus we can compare those two. Finally, we have, thanks to Mixerman, a borrowed LA-2A. Uh, the real deal, uh, this is a, a more modern uh, production from Universal Audio. And I have it set to 4 to 1 in the compress. And, uh, you know, optical compressors like the LA-2A, uh, they're known. Um, kind of like the, the tube compression is that it's really good for vocals, for bass, um, a lot of other stuff. But really kind of the slower type sources um they just kind of work and they're easy to use so we actually have a light uh the t4b i think uh and uh there's actually a light that flashes and uh, you know it's really crazy how some of this stuff works so i'd love to be able to actually look and watch as this gear works like i know in a, a tremolo on a tube amp you can actually see the tubes flickering to the pattern of the tremolo so uh, but yeah this is basically light compression okay optical so everything is set about four to one okay um 76a uh, successor uh, this is a 3.5 to one this is a four to one and four to one so i'm going four to one today and i'm also trying to just kind of hit it decently hard. It's about 10 to 15 dB. Okay, so let's check out this track by Brothers Gillespie called Bilberry Blues. I'll play it from the beginning. I'll go through maybe a verse and a chorus on each type of compression. First up is going to be the FET. Taking me a little longer than we first thought To get my pride back down inside a fighting way She never said she didn't love me so I never let go And I've been like a backseat driver while my mind disintegrates Living in the belly of a beast with no pulse Someone tell that poor old dog That she's not coming home I finally made a little money So I packed up and moved Just to stare all day out of another window And I could use a few new friends Or a lover or two but I just settled for somewhere to wash my clothes. Okay, next up is the diode bridge. Taking me a little longer than we first thought. My pride back down inside a fighting way. She never said she didn't love me, so I never let go. And I've been like a backseat driver while my mind disintegrates. 
Living in the belly of a beast with no pulse. Someone tell that poor old dog that she's not coming home. I finally made a little money, so I packed up and moved just to stare all day out of another window. And I could use a few new friends or a lover or two, but I just settled for somewhere to wash my clothes. Taking me a little longer than we first thought To get my pride back down inside a fighting way She never said she didn't love me so I never let go And I've been like a backseat driver while my mind disintegrates Living in the belly of a beast with no pulse Someone tell that poor old dog That she's not coming home I finally made a little money So I packed up and moved Just to stare all day out of another window And I could use a few new friends Or a lover or two but I just settled for somewhere to wash my clothes Taking me a little longer than we first thought To get my pride back down inside a fighting way Never said she didn't love me, so I never let go. And I've been like a backseat driver while my mind disintegrates. Living in the belly of a beast with no pulse. Someone tell that poor old dog that she's not coming home. I finally made a little money so I packed up and moved just to stare all day out of another window and I could use a few new friends or a lover or two but I just settled for somewhere to wash my clothes Taking me a little longer than we first thought To get my pride back down inside a fighting way She never said she didn't love me so I never let go And I've been like a backseat driver while my mind disintegrates Living in the belly of a beast with no pulse Someone tell that poor old dog That she's not coming home I finally made a little money So I packed up and moved Just to stare all day out of another window And I could use a few new friends Or a lover or two but I just settled for somewhere to wash my clothes. Okay, so, uh, you know, that's really interesting. I mean, it's uh, it's kind of hard to get all these compressors to sound like the same volume and kind of get the same amount of dig on the material. Um, but I hope you could kind of hear some of the character. Um, you know, it's crazy how much brighter this 160X is from, like, the WT Comp, for example. Or the Heritage Audio sounds 
clean compared to the 76A. Um, but of course, a lot more flavor and um, character coming from, say, the DBX. Uh, and then, you know, we have like the um, kind of creaminess of the optical. Um, almost the DBX is, seems kind of thin on the, uh, the low end. Uh, and then, of course, the harmonics. We have almost a distortion-like quality with the WT Comp and the uh, 76A. So now let's um, let's push it a little harder. Okay, this is four to one. Let's take it as high as these things will go. Now, for the WT Comp, I guess I can switch it to, uh, you know, I don't know if switching it to drive would be actually the best choice. Maybe I'll just kind of turn up the input as, as much as I can get it, you know, going and getting it compressing. So four to one and I think nearly 100 to one or so. And then we'll go to kind of infinity to one. And really anything beyond about, uh, I think about 12 to one and up, it kind of becomes less and less of a difference between the ratios. Uh, of course, there's a bigger difference between two to one, three to one, than there is, you know, 30 to one and 40 to one, you know? So they're kind of all getting the same after about t even 20 to one on up. There's still a difference between 12 and 20 on the FET, obviously, but it's really limiting territory when we go kind of on the top half of the 76A there. The four and eight is more like a compressor. The 12 and 20 is more like a limiter. Okay, so as high as it'll go. And I might have to um, kind of adjust this. This has limits, so I don't know exactly what ratio that is. Um, so yeah, let's just kind of roll with it and see what we get. I'll go back to the 76A, um, the FET. Here we go. Taking me a little longer than we first thought To get my pride back down inside a fighting weight She never said she didn't love me so I never let go And I've been like a backseat driver while my mind disintegrates Living in the belly of a beast with no pulse Someone tell that poor old dog that she's not coming home I finally made a little money so I packed up and moved Just to stare all day out of another window Never said she didn't love me, so I never let go. And I've been like a backseat driver while my mind disintegrates. Living in the belly of a beast with no pulse. Someone tell that poor old dog that she's not coming home. I finally made a little money, so I packed up and moved Just to stare all day out of another window And I could use a few new friends or a lover or two But I just settled for somewhere to wash my clothes Taking me a little longer than we first thought To get my pride back down inside a fighting weight She never said she didn't love me so I never let go 
And I've been like a backseat driver while my mind disintegrates Living in the belly of a beast with no pulse Someone tell that poor old dog that she's not coming home I finally made a little money so I packed up and moved Just to stare all day out of another window And I could use a few new friends or a lover or two But I just settled for somewhere to wash my clothes So I never let go And I've been like a backseat driver While my mind disintegrates Living in the belly Of a beast with no pulse Someone tell that poor old dog That she's not coming home I finally made a little money So I packed up and moved just to stare all day out of another window And I guess a few new friends or two But I just settled for somewhere to wash my clothes Take me to the river Wash the scent off my bones Someone help that poor old dog to find his way home. She never said she didn't love me, so I never let go. And I've been like a backseat driver while my mind disintegrates Living in the belly of a beast with no pulse Someone tell that poor old dog that she's not coming home I finally made a little money so I packed up and moved Just to stare all day out of another window And I could use a few new friends or a lover or two But I just settled for somewhere to wash my clothes Take me to the river Wash the sin off my bones Someone help that poor old dog To find his way home Taking me a little longer than we first thought To get my pride back down inside a fighting way She never said she didn't love me, so I never let go And I've been like a backseat driver while my mind disintegrates Living in the belly of a beast with no pulse Someone tell that poor old dog that she's not coming home I finally made a little money, so I packed up and moved Just to stare all day out of another window And I could use a few new friends or a lover or 
too But I just settled for somewhere to wash my clothes Yeah, okay, so I was kind of playing around with some different settings there on the 160X and the LA-2A. You know, the 160X was in over-easy mode this whole time. Uh, there was a point where we went into uh, kind of the hard knee, uh, which is out of the over-easy mode. There's a slower attack time and a harder knee at that point. And then we went back into the over-easy, and it's a soft knee, a little bit faster attack. Most of the time, you know, for vocals, I would keep it in over easy. Uh, we also checked out the negative ratio on the DBX because I said we're going to take it to the most extreme. So I figured why not, you know. Uh, we also went to over 100 on the LA-2A. And really all that did was bring up the mouth clicks and breath noises. But we can see that we're, um, you know, we have plenty of uh, peak reduction um, movement on the knob that we can still go if we need to. Uh, but at this setting here, we were getting um, 10 to 15 dB of reduction on limit mode. So yeah, uh, this is kind of a rundown of the types. Um, I thought one cool thing would be is to bring in uh, kind of a comparison of the Silica plugin. The Silica was uh, released a few days ago by Kush Audio, and it is a, um, a diode bridge uh, style compressor, and I figured it might be kind of fun to uh, work that into the video here. I also, uh, when I was playing the successor, um, I had to kind of change a little bit of the settings just because the timing with the more aggressive uh, compression ratio being in limit, um, it didn't really sound that pleasant, so I had to kind of adapt the settings a little bit. Um, but yeah, my goal is not to do a one-for-one -one comparison. My goal is to react and show you, uh, you know, based on this limit, um, you know, bringing its best settings, this is how it sounds. So that's why I felt the need to change the attack and the release. Uh, so first up is... the uh let's do the successor let me just get my settings back here get my pride taking me a little longer than we first thought Get my pride back down inside a fighting way. She never said she didn't love me, so I never let go. And I've been like a backseat driver while my mind disintegrates. Okay. Now we're going to go ahead and. This is all the way dry, so it's basically off. Living in the belly of a beast with no pulse. Someone tell that poor old dog that she's not coming home. I finally made a little money, so I packed up and moved. Just to stare all day out of another window. I could use a few new friends or a lover or two But I just settled for somewhere to wash my clothes Yeah, I mean, Silica sounds great. I mean, it has a, a really pleasant um, kind of mid-push at like 500 through 1K. Uh, there's something really nice in the mids that it's doing that I, that I like a lot. Um, the saturation sounds really nice on it. I've been kind of playing around with it for a while and, uh, you know, I, it's easy to overdo it, but it's also has a, just a really nice flavor to it. The successor is, I think, uh, 
you know, it 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 has a a much wider range. I think of what it could do. It could do a one, you know, a really low ratio. Let's see, this is two four twelve twenty, and you know, this is one point five to one at its lowest. Um, I don't know. They're just different animals. So yeah, I mean, I, we can compare them, but they're still very different animals. Um, this is more classy. This is more like rock and roll. Uh, so yeah. It's kind of an interesting comparison. I don't know that it really says much, but take it for what it's worth. They're both amazing compressors. Uh, let's also compare the 160X to the 903. So here's the 160X. That'll be uh, that'll be first. Take me to the river, wash the sin off my bones. Someone help that poor old dog to find his way home. Instead, it was nothing but blues and a bunch of bilberry bushes with blight. Well, so okay, I don't know where we even started on this one, but now let's do the 903. Take me to the river, wash the sin off my bones. Someone help that poor old dog to find his way home. Instead, it was nothing but blues and a bunch of bilberry bushes with blight. Well, someone's got to set these dying bushes on fire, cause I know Satan's gonna come and blow out my light. Yeah, so uh, they both sound really nice, but they are different. And sometimes these are kind of uh, sold on the used market as kind of a, a compact version of the 160X, but I don't, I don't really hear it. I mean, it's definitely different. Uh, 160X. Taking me a little longer than we first thought to get my pride back down inside a fighting way. Taking me a little longer than we first thought to get my pride back down inside a fighting way. Yeah, I mean, they are similar. I think the 903 sounds a little bit more kind of classy sounding, um, more of a warmer tone, whereas there's more high end on the 160X. There's more clarity there. I think that's a big difference. Um, you know, it could just be that this 160X is kind of bright, but I had a couple of 160 XTs and they were darker than this. And so I found it valuable to have that extra high end and that, that nice clarity. So the 903 is really nice. They're a really good kind of cheap $100 compressor. Um, so definitely really easy, cheap way to get into outboard. A lot of the chassis, uh, the 900 uh, chassis, go for 100 or less, and the compressors go for 100 or less. So, for the price of a plug-in, you can start building some outboard. So yeah, that was kind of a bit of a comparison between five different types of compression, and a few bonus rounds in there. But I'd love to know what you think of this. 
Um, did you have a favorite compressor? And what type of compression do you like to use? Do you have a favorite plugin? Uh, do you like optical, VCA, FET? I mean, personally, FET for me is a favorite, but I'd love to know your thoughts on this. And, you know, if you have any good ideas on diode bridge, as far as like their, their strengths, they seem to be kind of a, um, kind of a mystery as far as like, okay, you know, we use it for the 33609, but what else, you know? So I'd love to know what your uses are for the diode bridge compressors. Um, you know, I'm thinking overheads, I'm thinking drum bus, uh, almost like a VCA, but with a little extra flavor. So yeah, let me know in the comments um, your favorite uses for different types of compressors. I'll see you later. She never said she didn't love me, so I never let go. And I've been like a backseat driver while my mind disintegrates. Living in the belly of a beast with no pulse. Someone tell that poor old dog that she's not coming home.